Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today I'm going to show you how to fix all the problems with Call of Duty Ghosts on the PC. Alright guys, before we get started, there's a couple prerequisites that we need to get out of the way. And one is you have to have a copy of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 installed on your box. This is important to actually apply this fix properly. Also, you need to be an administrator on the box because we're going to be editing some registry settings and things of that nature that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. Alright, so if you meet the requirements, let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Steam. And then once you're inside of Steam, we need to go gather some information from both Call of Duty Ghosts and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So let's go ahead and start with Ghosts. What you're going to want to do is right click on it and go down to Properties. Under Properties, you're going to want to go over to Local Files, and then you're going to go to Browse Local Files. This is going to open up the folder that contains your Call of Duty files. <laughs> I said duty. So now what you want to do is you want to go find the executable. So just up here in search type star.exe and that brings it up and you can see there's two executables here. One is IW6MP64 underscore ship which stands for multiplayer and the other one stands for single player. For this hack we're doing multiplayer. So go ahead and record both the path and the file name right here. I'm using a little notepad you can see off to the side that contains all this information. So now you want to go ahead and do the same thing for Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Go down to Properties, go over to Local Files, Browse Local Files. Again, you can see in here there's two executables. We want the multiplayer in this instance, since most of, most of the problems are multiplayer related. And we want t6mp.exe. So again, we want to record that data. You can see over here we have it recorded for both Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 2. All right, so now we have all the data we need. So now we have to open up the registry editor. So the easy way to do this is go ahead and open up start or just get to your run context and type regedit.exe. Hit enter. This is going to open up the registry editor. Now what you're going to want to do is let's go ahead and collapse this down. You're going to want to go to H key local machine. This is important to get exactly right. Open up software. Then go down to Microsoft. Expand that. Then you want to go to Windows NT right here, expand that, current version, expand that, and then you're looking for a key called image file execution options. Now, to apply this fix to Call of Duty Ghosts, you need to come down here and create a new key. So we're going to say go ahead and create a new key, and we're going to name that key after the executable file for Ghosts, which in this case is iw6mp64 underscore ship dot exe. So let's go ahead and go find that key. Where are you key? Right there. And then under here, you want to create a value. So right click new string value and you're going to name it debugger. And then for the value, you're going to put the path cmd.exe space forward slash C. And then in quotes, you want to do CD to change the current directory. And then here you want to put in the path to your Call of Duty Black Ops 2 folder. And then you want two ampersands, so and, and, and then t6mp.exe. And this is gonna be over here in my notepad. We'll pull this over. This is the exact command line that you need to type. I'll go ahead and put it in the video description for you. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and hit okay. The settings are applied. You can go ahead and close your registry editor. And now all of your problems are fixed with Call of Duty Ghosts. As you can see, I can come up here and say Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer. Click the play button. It's launching Call of Duty Ghosts. And now we should be good to go. Now it says that it's Black Ops 2 now. But actually, it's just a much better game that actually works way better now. So all of your problems should be solved, guys. And if you have any more problems, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments, and maybe we can deal with them in a future video. I know this is a little bit tricky, guys, and this is some advanced stuff that we're doing here, but this is really what it takes to solve all the problems with Call of Duty Ghosts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this gave you a nerdgasm. Till next time. Oh, yeah, and one last thing, guys. This is totally just a prank. I'm pulling your leg. Yes, this actually does work. If you go modify the image file execution options tag, 
when they try to launch ghosts, they're going to get Black Ops 2. It doesn't matter if they try to launch it from the command line. doesn't matter if they launch it from a shortcut. doesn't matter if they launch it from Steam. Every time they run that one EXE, the other one's going to fire. So this is an absolute fun prank to pull on your friends. If you've got a friend who thinks ghosts is just awesome, go make this modification and Black Ops 2 is going to open and they're going to scratch their head and you're going to have a laugh. So guys, I hope you really did enjoy the video. This is funny. Let me know if you like funny short videos like this and I'll do more of them. I know all kinds of crazy little tips and tricks and how to have fun with people it's really fun to mess with nerds it really is so guys leave your comments down below i'd love to know what you think about this video if you absolutely hate it and you just think it's stupid hit that dislike button and i'll never make another one but i get a kick out of making these guys and hopefully you get a kick out of watching them so anyways guys till next time I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.